Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mr. Lawrence and in today's video, I will show you how to make your own modded cars. You can choose any car that you want and customize it how you like. At first, this glitch is pretty difficult, but after following my tutorial and trying it a couple times, you will easily hit it back to back. The requirements and links to everything you need will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. First plug your USB in your PlayStation, then go to settings, application saved data management, now to saved data in system storage, copy to USB storage device, select GTA 5 and copy a normal save, so not a backup profile or auto save. When it's done, plug your USB in your PC or laptop, then open save wizard. Now double click Grand Theft Auto 5, it will drop down and if you see these random numbers, you will first need to right click on it and select register profile. I already registered my profile, so I will go to my own game save, then right click on it and select advanced mode. When it's done loading, go to the top right and click on the import icon. Now select the save that you downloaded from my description. Now click on apply and select yes. It will give you another loading box, just wait till it's done. Now press ok, then go to your game save again, right click on it and select advanced mode once again. Go to the top right again and this time you will need to click on this export icon. Make sure you remember the name and where you save it and then you can click on save. For me it's SGTA 50,000. Now just close this menu and minimalize save wizard. Now open save editor, they will first need to sign up, you can do that on their website and the link will also be in the description, then sign in and click on open file. Now select the file that you just saved, for me it is sgta50000, then open it. If you wish to make a backup, click on yes, if you don't, click on no, it doesn't really matter. When you are here, go to the left side and click on garage. This menu will now open, make sure it says Trevor over here, then Fillbox Hill Garage, and here you will see your spots in that garage. So you can edit a total of 4 cars at a time on one save, just select a slot that you want to edit, and here you can select any car that you want except for the police vehicles because you won't be able to store them. The newest DLC cars will be at the top, I will mod the Ignis. Once you select your car, you can customize everything, but if you are new to the modded cars community, I will explain it. I will start with the primary and secondary color, here you can select any color that you want including a pearlescent for your primary color. There are some things that makes a car modded, here you can see that some colors have a check in them and others don't. You want to select a color that's unchecked, because usually you cannot get those colors in game, which makes it more rare. You can also select a custom color, if you want that, select hidden MP100 for both the primary color, pearlescent and secondary color. Now you can click on this box and either select a custom color through the standard menu or select custom and pick any color that you want. When you are done, check both primary and secondary, your armor will be set to upgrade 100%, race brakes, engine level 4, the horn will be a rare halloween horn, you can also change the light if you want, I will change it to purple lights, plate will be set to north yankton, that's also what makes it modded, suspension, competition, transmission, race, turbo tuning, and windows, light green aka green tinted windows, and that's also rare. At the top, you can fill in what you want on your north yankton plate, if you only fill it in with a few letters make sure you fill the remaining spaces so just like this i forgot to do that at first and i got a random north yankton plate now we will move on to the right side of this menu you can select your neon layout and also select a custom color if you come over here, you can select which wheels you want, it will be set to race wheels, which are F1 wheels. If you want Benny wheels, just go to the wheel type and select Benny wheels. You can now select any wheels that you like. Select Patriot tire smoke and uncheck bulletproof tires if you want this car to be fully modded. You can customize 4 different cars on this file, but if you only want to do one, click on save file, press ok, now close save editor and open save wizard again. 
Then go to your game save, right click on it and select advanced mode. Now click on the import icon in the top right corner and select the file that we just edited and saved. So for me it is SGTA 50000. Select yes and wait till it loads. Now press OK and we don't need our PC or laptop anymore. Plug your USB back into your PlayStation, then go to settings again, application saved data management. This time you will need to select saved data on USB storage device and copy the modded save on your PlayStation. Check this box that says apply to all and select yes. Now go to network inside the settings tab, select setup internet connection, now select Wi-Fi or LAN cable, whichever one you use, then select custom, DNS automatic, and when you are at the MTU settings, select manual. It will be set to 1500, replace that number with the number anywhere from 615 and 700. Then select next, do not use and test your internet connection. When that's done, just start GTA 5 and load into story mode. In the meantime, your friend has to be in an invite only session and he will need to start the mission a titan of a job. All he has to do is wait on this menu and make sure that he doesn't get kicked for being AFK. When you load in, open your pause menu, go to online and if creator is grayed out, select play GTA online and start an invite only session. When you are in, go back to story mode. When you are in story mode, open your pause menu, go to game, select load game and load the modded save. When it's done loading, you should spawn in as Trevor, from here just switch to Franklin. When you are Franklin, Lester will call you, just hang up. Accept this alert if you get it, and now you will need to activate the cheat code wanted level up. It will be in the description. You will now get one star, go outside and go to one of the police cars. Stand still so you can get arrested. As soon as Franklin raises his arms, open your pause menu, then go to online and select creator. Now just wait on this alert. I'll just show you what to do now, so in a second we will accept that alert. Then you will quickly need to go to your PlayStation home screen and suspend the application. You can do that if you open a different app like YouTube, Spotify or Media Player. So we will do that right now, go back to GTA, accept this alert and quickly suspend the application. Now wait on here for 5 to 7 full seconds. Now I will tell you what to do next. After the 5 to 7 seconds, we will go back to GTA. You will hear 3 dooms. On the third doom, you will need to open your PlayStation menu again. We will do that right now. So go back to GTA and after the third doom, go to your PlayStation home screen. Now you can take your time and you will need to join your friend that's in the titan of a job. Now listen to what I say. When you press join, you will go back to the game. You will get an error alert. Wait on that for 5 to 7 full seconds again, then you will need to accept it and wait till the screen fades to black. When it did, accept both the first and second alert and when it says joining GTA Online in the bottom right corner, you will need to quickly join your friend again, the one that's in a titan of a job. You can double tap your PS button to go back to this join screen. When you did that, wait on this alert till it goes away, so don't touch anything and just wait. Now you will be Trevor on this mountain. You will get this alert, decline it, open your interaction menu and start director mode. When you are here, select enter director mode.
Now from here, open your interaction menu again and make sure dialogue is grayed out. If it's not, you will need to restart GTA and redo the steps. Now go to garage and select the car that you want to spawn in. There will be a bunch of vehicles, but just select the car that you modded. So I will select the Ignis. Now we will get this car in online. Back out once, go down to quit director mode and hover over it. Now keep your eyes on the top right corner of your screen. Right under director mode, money will appear in bright green. This can take anywhere from 10 seconds to 1 or even 2 minutes. When it does appear, wait till the money disappears again and press X to quit director mode. Now wait on this alert, tell your friend to quit the job and he will need to try and join you. This is the most annoying part, because you also have to be lucky. The first time I joined it already worked for me, but on previous attempts it kept giving me error messages and I kept trying till I joined the game. So it can take a few tries before you can actually join him. If he still can't join after multiple attempts, your friend can also try to change his MTU settings like I showed before in this video. When he's in, you should see the modded car right over here, your friend will just need to sit inside so he doesn't despawn. Now you will need to quit your game and join your friend that's sitting inside your modded car. Then you will need to do any gift cards to friends glitch that works at the time you're watching this. I will have a method linked in the description and then the car will be yours. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.